Every time you read about robotic AI threatening the world, there's a picture of a Boston Dynamic Atlas. It's more likely that you know, the threat looks more like a laptop than an atlas. We want to break the boundaries of understanding robotics as these sort of sentient autonomous things and think about them in ways that we don't think of humans and animals. Playground is really about understanding robotics in that collaborative, distributed mode uh, and think of their minds not as individual entities but a collective robot mind that shares sensing and actuation in different physical forms. We tend not to look for short-term returns. Uh, in VC, you have to do something which is almost certainly wrong, because otherwise everybody else will do it. So the real opportunities are between somewhere between the unlikely and the impossible. We are looking for things that are deep technologies which are durable and defensible, um, but also achievable. Robotics is uh, really in its infancy for some of these scale applications. What's missing has been the link between what are now tour de force controls and physical systems with the intelligence and perception to make them useful. What makes them investable opportunities and what makes them big companies is blending the intelligence and this new kind of distributed intelligence with these tour de force mechanical devices. Robotics can really change the economics of, of growing and collecting food. I think that's a very large scale market. A lot of people will point to autonomous vehicles, which I think has a large, will have a large economic impact. We're starting to see robots that can operate in human unstructured environments, things like the Agility Robotics, Cassie, that you may have seen. So there'll be, a, I think, new kinds of industries and new kinds of wealth created by more and more of these capable robots in environments that we, um, we simply don't imagine them in today. In order to get the behaviors that make these robots capable of doing things they don't do today, they need to be able to share representations of knowledge and experience in an intimate way. They need to be safe. They need to be able to communicate securely. They need to be able to use state-of-the-art perception and science. And we think all of those things incorporated into a platform will allow our investments to put their capital into the things their domain experts in and into the applications that we're funding them for. So we think we'll drive these robots into markets to do things we haven't seen. And I think as they become more and more connected to one another, and as they you know, collaborate on uh, what they're learning and what they're thinking about, we'll find more uses for these things above and beyond what are imagined as robotics applications.